Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. Downey and today we are going to be comparing metformin and berberine. So metformin, as many of you may know, is a anti-glycemic or hyperglycemic agent used to treat type 2 diabetes. Been around for quite a while and has well-documented efficacy in lowering fasting glucose levels, HbA1c levels, as well as improving insulin sensitivity. So far, it's still the first line therapy for treating type 2 diabetes, and it essentially works by reducing the production of glucose in the liver. It also increases the sensitivity of muscles to insulin. It also works via activating AMP activated protein kinase, which essentially regulates glucose and lipid metabolism or fat metabolism. Berberine is this natural isoquinoline that is found in like roots, I think, of certain plants. It's popular amongst traditional Chinese medicine, which is why you'll find a lot of the original studies on berberine were done in China. However, it's gained popularity in the bodybuilding industry and just fitness industry in general because it also works similarly to that of metformin by improving insulin sensitivity. The mechanism of action still isn't really known, but it's also thought to increase this AMP protein kinase, which improves lipid and glucose metabolism. Furthermore, berberine is quite popular because you don't need a script to get it. And a lot of people know about its efficacy when it comes to lowering fasting glucose levels and just improving insulin sensitivity. So in this video, I just wanted to dive into berberine a little bit and compare it to metformin and see what the research says about berberine at this point in time. So again, as I alluded to at the beginning of this video, the research into berberine is still quite limited in that there are quite high quality trials, but the sample sizes are quite small. A lot of these trials were done in China, and you'll find that with a lot of these traditional medications that a lot of these studies are done in China, as it's quite a profitable industry to get into, especially promoting traditional Chinese medicine to Western populations and selling it. So as I mentioned, with these small trials, berberine has been demonstrated to increase insulin se sensitivity significantly, as well as reduce fasting glucose levels and lowering HbA1c levels. We have two randomized control trials which were performed in China. The first trial had 116 participants with type 2 diabetes, and in the other trials they had 89 participants with type 2 diabetes. And in terms of the results, it seemed like berberine had similar effects to metformin in reducing fasting glucose levels, improving insulin sensitivity, and reducing HbA1c levels. Other effects that were noted is it improves lipid metabolism has anti-inflammatory effects, and also seems to assist in lowering cholesterol, which metformin has also been demonstrated to have. So far, with the limited research that we do have, it seems to be safe and well tolerated at a dose of 500 milligrams to 1,500 milligrams taken three times a day or with each meal. However, similar to metformin, it has those gastrointestinal side effects, such as stomach upset, cramping, constipation, or diarrhea. Furthermore, in a smaller trial, they mentioned that there might be drug interactions between berberine and drugs that are excreted via the kidneys. More specifically, they mentioned that there might be an interaction between antibiotics, antidepressants, and antiarrhythmic medication. However, we still need larger trials. So when comparing it to metformin, we know that previous trials have stated that it had a similar effect to metformin in outcomes. However, when compared directly to metformin, we have a systematic review and meta-analysis that kind of reports mixed results. From the systematic review, they did demonstrate that berberine does have a significant reduction in HbA1c levels. Essentially, HbA1c monitors your glucose control or sugar control over a six-month period. But this effect in reduction of HbA1c levels, while significant, was not as great as that of metformin. 
In another systematic review, they found this to be the same. It had a significant reduction in HbA1c levels, however the effect was not as great in size as that of metformin. Now, in terms of weight loss, because this is also a reason why some people might take berberine or metformin, there are multiple trials, I've come across three, that do demonstrate berberine results in weight loss. However, these trials tend to be in individuals who have PCOS or a degree of insulin resistance, so it does make sense that improving insulin sensitivity might result in a decrease in body weight. However, the studies on weight loss in berberine are still very small, and we have a lot more studies on metformin, and those studies do indicate that metformin results in around a 1 to 5% reduction of body weight. In the small trials that we do have of berberine, it shows a 3-5% to body weight reduction, which some may interpret as being greater than that of metformin. However, when you have smaller sample sizes, outliers tend to have a bit more of a drastic effect on your results. But this is interesting to note nonetheless. So overall, what we can see from these studies is that berberine does demonstrate to have these glucose lowering effects and do demonstrate to be efficacious in glucose control. However, the sample sizes of these studies, as mentioned, were still quite small. I still think we do need larger trials done on berberine before we can recommend it over metformin, as these trials are small and haven't elucidated all of these side effects that berberine could possibly have. But if you are looking for a supplement that could assist in improving your glucose control, berberine might be the supplement to choose. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about berberine and metformin, and I will see you guys in the next video.